This video is about etching steel. In this video I'm going to show the etching of two pieces of steel, a stainless steel ruler and a small utility knife that I just made. Some supplies are needed to do this. I have a 12 volt battery charger set up off to the side. Its negative lead is coming here and its positive lead is there. We need a small cotton pad. We need some dollar store nail polish of some sort or another type of uh, waterproof lacquer. Uh, nail polish is a perfect waterproof lacquer. We need some uh, vinegar which I have a wee bit maybe 15 milliliters in this beaker with some salt dissolved in the vinegar. That's what we need in order to begin. My cotton pad was fairly big so as you can see I've cut it into three pieces and I'll use the middle piece to start with. This piece gets folded up sort of like so. Then it's attached to the uh, negative clip lead, much like this. The first thing I did was clean my two steel samples, the stainless steel ruler and the uh, utility knife that's made from O1 steel. These were cleaned with soap and water and then carefully dried. There's no uh, dirt or grease on them at this point. The purpose of the nail polish is to act as an etch resist, namely wherever there's nail polish there won't be any etching. I'm going to start by painting an area of each piece with some of the nail polish so that it will uh, resist etching. I'm going to put a number on that side of the utility knife and I'm going to put a symbol, maker symbol, on that side. For the stainless steel ruler I'll just uh, again prepare a couple of example areas for etching. Once the nail polish is applied it'll have to be allowed to thoroughly dry. So I'll pick up the video in about 10 or 15 minutes when this uh, stuff is dry. It's been 10 minutes and the nail polish has dried. So the next step is to take this uh, pick or awl that I have that comes to a needle-like point and use it to scratch my design through the nail polish so the uh, metal is exposed where I want etching to take place. I'll do this and then uh, pick up the video again. I've prepared the work pieces. Let's etch them. The positive from the battery charger, or the red, is connected to the metal piece to be etched. I'll start with the ruler here. The negative, or black, from the battery charger goes to the uh, cotton pad. I've started my battery charger, and I'll now wet the cotton pad with the vinegar and salt solution. To start etching, I bring the pad down onto the uh, area that I want to etch. There'll be a foaming uh, reaction immediately. It's best to keep moving around. as a lot of uh, bubbles and whatnot are generated.
depending on how deep you want the etching, you can uh, determine this by the length of time that you uh, apply the uh, vinegar and salt pad to the piece. If you do it for 30 seconds, you'll get a light etch. If you do it for a couple of minutes, the etching will go much deeper, but you'd best be uh, sure that your nail polish is on there good and thick. Maybe do two coats if you want to make a really deep etch. On this uh, first part that I'm going over again here, I think the nail polish might have been a little thin. If it was, I'll show the consequences of it uh, being too thin. Well, let's uh, move on to the uh, knife blade. Okay, let's do the other side of the utility knife. That should be enough. Uh, I'll shut things off and get ready to clean the pieces so that we can uh, examine the results. Here's a look at the results. 